Thanks, Vlad. You. Thanks very much, and I'd like to say thank you very much to the, all of the um, speakers who've um, presented this morning. I'd just like to um, make reference to what happened in Strasbourg last week. We gave the Zakharov Prize to a doctor from the Congo who received standing ovation after standing ovation for the fact that he's standing up for the most vulnerable people in this area of the world that we've been particularly focusing on. But I agree with the point that it's not only the Congo, that it's other conflict zones around the world. But we gave a standing ovation in the course of that prize presentation exactly for the demand that there be mandatory binding rules on conflict minerals at European level. So we have to be coherent and consistent. If we were moved to that position in the plenary, then we, sh we should be willing to put that position into legislation when this position is in front of the Parliament. That's the first point. I think that there are, and I, I echo uh, Mary's point about experiences in other sectors, there are experiences in other manufactured goods sectors about traceability. And I think we should be learning from those best practices. And finally, um, just a link in terms of uh, EU-US uh, discussions. We're constantly told that TTIP is about setting a new global standard and working in terms of the geopolitical dynamic. If that's the case, then this would be a massive positive symbolic step towards the European concerns from the general public about what TTIP is around, around saying that we're actually willing to use our trade policy to pursue an improvement in human rights and sustainable development um, in our own geographical remit in the EU and the US, but also in terms of our collective influence in the rest of the world. And that's another reason why we should be looking to exactly link to what Judith Sargentini just said, take the good bits, work together with the US on the good bits and try and take the step forward. The OECD speaker at the beginning said that the EU has an opportunity to lead with this proposal. I don't think that we should lose that opportunity. Um, and I think we should be working to really take the next step forward and not take a step backwards. Thank you. Emma, 